Hi, this is the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry, and today we're going to talk about Spanning Tree Root Guard or Root Protect. Um, so the purpose of this is to stop a rogue spanning tree device or a misconfigured spanning tree device from taking over as the root bridge in your environment. The root bridge is the most important bridge in a spanning tree environment, and it determines based on its location, you know, where the, the, the blocking is going to happen um, in your layer two environment. So uh, protecting this device is important, but spanning tree as a protocol has no way to do that. So root guard is how you do it. So generally we want to turn that on on the edge ports. Um, and uh, let's have a look at how that's done. So config T, we'll, we'll do a block of interfaces here. So interface E one slash two slash one to one slash two slash eight. Uh, and to turn it on, it's pretty straightforward. It's just a spanning dash tree um, and then root dash protect. So easy enough, right? So um, we can now do a show span root protect uh, to see if that it's enabled, which it is. Unit one, module two, ports one to eight all have uh, uh, root protect turned on. Um, so now, if we receive a superior BPDU from any of those ports, um, it's going to put that into uh, an error disabled state or actually a root inconsistent state. So uh, if we have a look at, say, show um, 802 for VLAN 1, um, we can see I am the root bridge. But once we get down to one slash two slash one and one slash two slash two, you can see that they are in a root inconsistent state. So that is um, the same as blocking or discarding, right? So they're not going to forward any user packets out there. Um, and to turn to stop them from being in a root inconsistent state and put them back into forwarding, there's nothing you need to do other than either eliminate that that rogue uh, uh, device or you know go into that rogue device or, or misconfigured device and reconfigure it for a higher um, spanning true priority than the existing root bridge. So we see it there. Uh, if we look in the logs, we will also see that port get put into a root inconsistent state here uh, because it received a superior BPDU meaning a, a BPDU with a lower span tree priority. Uh, and lastly, if we look at one of those interfaces, one slash two slash one, um, we'll see that the port's up and up. However, um, we see root protect is enabled here, but we see that it's in a blocking state, not a forwarding state. So uh, we can see that, that um, root guard has actually put that into a block state and won't forward any user traffic. So uh, pretty straightforward, but very helpful. And um, that's it. Thanks for joining.